Hello everyone. I'm Abu Said, software engineer at AppScot. So today our webinar, our webinar topic is seamlessly provision and manage FedDB in Kubernetes using KubeDB. So first, let's see the our today's webinar's table of contents. First, we will discuss about what is FedDB, then the FedDB architecture, then KubeDB's offering with FedDB, then features and specifications of KubeDB with FedDB. Then we, we will see a live demo. And finally, there is a question and answer session for you guys. Okay, so first of all, what is FairDB? FairDB is an open source proxy that translates MongoDB wired protocol queries to SQL. Uh, FairDB is MongoDB compatible. Drive, FairDB is MongoDB with com mon compatible with MongoDB drivers and can be used as a direct replacement of MongoDB 5.0. 5.0 plus currently FairDB supports PostgreSQL and SQL Lite as it SQL backend engine option. As it is MongoDB compatible, we can query in NoSQL format and FairDB is stored that in SQL format in its backend database. As it is open source, we can implement different types of advanced query option according to our needs. So basically, FairDB actually fills the gap between SQL and NoSQL database. So here is the architecture of FairDB. So when an application, when an operation comes to FairDB, FairDB actually, I, FairDB's protocol handler, I actually identify the, uh, identify the command that comes from any application or any MongoDB driver and then it passed to either Postgres handler or any com or any database backend database commands handler and this, that handler actually stored the data into that uh, into the respective database like PostgreSQL or SQLite. So we can see the flow here. Okay. So now we will introduce to it, we do introduce with KubeDB actually uh, how KubeDB integrated with FairDB. So okay, so we can mm, so there is two option actually for uh, so there is two actually uh, there is two option for provisioning FairDB into Kubernetes cluster. One is using Kubernetes KubeDB's managed Postgres SQL backend, and another is. Uh, external Postgres backend uh, or that exist in that cluster. So uh, if a user wants to use KubeDB managed Postgres SQL, actually KubeDB manages the whole process of deploying, provisioning FairDB and Postgres backend. Currently, KubeDB only supports Postgres backend for FairDB. Okay, so you know, when a user, first of all, let's discuss about KubeDB managed Postgres backend option so when a user create FairDB, kubedb actually deploy a FairDB custom resource object in kubernetes cluster also a postgres custom resource object in kubernetes cluster that means postgres database and FairDB database uh, with along postgres custom resource and FairDB, FairDB custom resource a secret for FairDB postgres authentication pvc for storage app binding stateful sets and service also deployed with postgres Postgres database with uh, by KubeDB and for FairDB, a stateful set, a stateful set for deploying the database secrets service and app binding also provisioned into the cluster. And if if a user uh, KubeDB actually internally connect PostgreSQL with FairDB here, and if a user wants to use uh, use his own PostgreSQL pod or own PostgreSQL that exists in that cluster, he can use it. So for that, he just need to he just need to give the URI of that Postgres QL, uh, into the FairDB YAML file. Also, he can give the service name and namespace that pointed to that Postgres pod into the FairDB YAML's name and name FairDB YAML's option. So there are two options for deleting termination policy, or that means the deletion policy of FairDB. One is currently currently we give support for. FairDB wipeout and do not terminate. The wipeout is actually, there will be no trace of database resource and the do not terminate actually reject the deletion uh, that is handled, handled by KubeDB controller for FairDB. Okay, so we are now we are going to discuss about features and a specification that KubeDB provides for FairDB. First of all, we know that FairDB actually depend uh, depend on another external uh, external backend backend engine like 
opposed to SQL or SQL SQL Lite. So uh, a, a specification or feature of KubeDB is it supports uh, it it fully control the external dependency management of uh, FreeDB. So user don't need to um, waste his time for uh, managing his backend engine. Uh, another feature is management here. KubeDB will bring a support for uh, management uh, the FreeDB FreeDB database through UI. Also, there is a custom customizable health checker available for KubeDB. This health checker is actually continuously ping and read write to the FreeDB. Um, this actually uh, gives the status uh, give us the status of our current FreeDB's uh, current FreeDB's condition. Uh, then uh, we all know that FreeDB also have TLS support. So KubeDB actually have a managed way to um, manage way to uh, support the TLS uh, features of FreeDB. Also, uh, persistent volume is an important uh, important uh, important role for uh, creating and managing database. KubeDB manage the whole process of persistent volume and, and storage persisting uh, to FreeDB, also to the backend engine of uh, FreeDB. Uh, there is a uh, multiple termination policy strategy uh, implemented with in the kubedb to use in freeDB like wipeout delete and in future uh, maybe a more termination policy is implemented uh, with kubedb also uh, sometimes uh, some cluster have uh, various security context option so kubedb also support uh, that kind that that uh, that kind of uh, security context option with uh, when provisioning freeDB into the uh, cluster Okay, so here is the installation command for um, uh, here is the kubedb installation command. So what you what we have to do is we just have to uh, set the global dot feature state dot fieldDB call to true while um, while uh, provisioning while installing kubedb into your cluster. And the full installation process will uh, processes link will be given in the description. Okay, now let's go to the live demo part. Okay, so first of all, let's just apply the FreeDB YAML. Then we are going to um, we are going to discuss about the every spec of that YAML. First, let's just apply it. Okay, so let's discuss about the YAML. Okay, we just apply this YAML actually. Uh, this is actually uh, a QQ, this is actually a custom resource named uh, FreeDB. Which actually deploy FreeDB database in our Kubernetes cluster. The name of the uh, FreeDB is Ferret, and in into the de demo name space. So the this is the spec dot version is the actually uh, current uh, version of FreeDB. We only support currently we only support for one point eighteen point zero. Uh, so here we can see that uh, the auth secret is externally managed full. That means the auth secret will be managed internally through KubeDB. The SQL mode is currently disabled, so uh, this is the just basic. This is just uh, without any TLS basic uh, for DB. Uh, this is the storage section that will be passed to the um, that will be passed to the uh, backend PG controller or PG database. Okay, so uh, here this is the important part is here we can see that spec dot backend dot externally managed field is false. That means the uh, that means the uh, Backend will be managed internally, so KubeDB will uh, KubeDB will automate the whole process. This uh, KubeDB will actually ma provision a KubeDB managed Postgres database for FreeDB, and the termination policy is wiped out. Okay, so let's see the status of our FreeDB deployment. Okay, so here we can see that our FreeDB custom resource or FreeDB database is in ready state, ready state in ready state, so we can use it. Uh, along with this FreeDB, KubeDB also provision a Postgres named Postgres PG backend, and it's also in ready status. With uh, FreeDB, uh, FreeDB pod is actually currently running, and with the uh, Postgres backend, so the three pod like uh, three pod, two one primary, one secondary, and another arbiter pod for Postgres is actually deployed in the cluster. Okay. Uh, also, we can see that a persistent a PVC of a Postgres uh, PVC of Postgres backend also provisioned in the cluster, and we can see that there is a primary service named Ferret also deployed in the cluster uh, in two zero two seven zero one seven port. 
also there are three service provisioned in the uh, deployed in the cluster named ferret pitch backend this is actually primary service for my backend postgres that is that is managed by kubedb also uh, ferret pitch backend pods these pods actually uh, used for internal connection between ferret db pods and another service is ferret pg backend standby this pod is actually for directing the secondary of postgres pod postgres database also a secret name uh, ferret pg backend auth also deployed uh, this is actually authentication secret this actually hold the authentication secret for postgres backend okay so we can see that our ferret db is been registered so we uh, we that means that we can use it okay so first let's just uh, fast put forward the primary service this actually this service actually hold this actually point this service actually point to the postgres pod that's the for this postgres pod have the postgres uh, ferret db uh, th sorry i mean ferret db pod and this ferret db pod actually hold the image of ferret db 1.18.0 version okay so first let's put forward this primary service okay so we are going to put forward into this into 27017 port okay so now let's connect it with mongoosh client okay so username and password so for username and password uh, we already see we know that ferret db doesn't have uh, its own authentication mechanism currently implemented yet uh, it actually use its backend authentication mechanism so uh, 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 for our post ferret db our backend is ferret pg backend and cube db actually also create a secret for this ferret pg backend or backend postgres that is ferret pg backend auth okay so first let's extract the username and password from this secret okay so we are going to use view secret cli for this purpose okay so the password is uh, username is uh, postgres and the password is some hashed value Let's connect to with our ferret db. Okay, so as you can see that we are we just connected uh, connect uh, connect uh, into the ferret db with mongoosh client. So let's create a database data. I have actually used a command for inserting. Okay. Okay, so here you can see that I just insert two document into fair DBs, um, into fair DBs demo DB. So let's just show what we just inserted. Okay. So we can see that a new database name, a new DB name demo is just inserted into fair DB. And in that DB, we just uh, inserted, uh, we just inserted uh, two document. Okay. So let's just, let's verify this, uh, verify whether the, whether the, whether the document is uh, stored in the backend or not. Okay, so for that we need to exec into uh, Postgres pod that is just that deployed by our ferret DB. So other uh, deployed by cube DB. Okay. Okay, so this is the list of database we have to connect with ferret DB. Okay, so this is the list of schema. So we can see that a new schema demo is introduced with this Postgres backend, and this this demo is actually um, actually the DB in Ferret DB. Okay, now let's set the path path is set it. Now let's show all the tables.
Okay, so we just, okay, so let's set the path to demo schema. Okay, so as you can see that uh, a new table named music uh, underscore something is just inserted here. Let's see what's inside in this music database. Music table, I mean. Okay, so here you can see that uh, the John Denver and Bobby Weir that we just inserted um, inserted uh, a moment ago in the FairDB as a document. This actually uh, now uh, stored in the in JSON B format in the Postgres SQL backend and in the SQL format. Okay. So we verify that our data is stored successfully in kubedb managed Postgres. Okay. So now, now uh, this this is one option that we can use our kubedb managed Postgres. And another option is we can use we can use our own Postgres pod. So uh, I already uh, I already deployed a Postgres pod a Postgres pod in our uh, in our existing class, in our existing kind cluster. So first, let's. Um, this is just a simple deployment. Uh, if I want to show you. Okay, so we can see that this is just a simple deployment that just uh, deploy a single pod, and this pod hold actually Postgres latest image, and the container port is five four three two. Uh, we also set the environment uh, Postgres password is random, username is Postgres, and Postgres database is FairDB. And also, we also uh, we also give the uh, PVC name as PGPVC. This also um, also deployed in our existing cluster uh, named PG and dash PVC. Okay, so we actually we just um, deployed this deployment into our cluster, and this is the pod. So our pod is also running. So Postgres is running. This is actually a external PG. We can say that, and also for this external PG, we also uh, deploy a service named external PG SVC. This service actually point to the external uh, that external PG port. So now what we are going to do, we are going to deploy a FairDB with KubeDB uh, through KubeDB, and we are going to refer this external Postgres uh, into that FairDB. Okay, so for that reason, uh, I have a YAML file. And here I can here you can see that um, our post my Postgres service uh, my uh, here we can see that in back spec dot backend dot uh, spec dot spec dot backend dot externally managed field is true so the backend will be managed by externally also we can see that ex spec dot auth doc externally managed field is also true so the auth secret is also will be managed externally and. The secret's name is ex ext pg secret. This secret is also just we uh, we already created in our cluster, name external external pg secret. Now this secret has actually just two fields: username and password. That username is that username is is uh, Postgres and the password is random. That just uh, used in this Postgres deployment here. Okay, so now. Uh, and and also we can see that spec dot backend dot postgres section of this external field db that that we will deploy in our cluster is uh, in service we give the name and namespace of the service of that external pg and the port is 5432 and termination policy is wiped out so everything will be deleted when we de delete the field db okay so let's deploy this So sorry. Okay, so field db is created and it's in provisioning a straight state. Okay, so this will actually uh, this will actually uh, so we can see that our DB is in ready status. Uh, our uh, external ferret DB that man managed by cube DB named ferret DB external is in ready state. So we can uh, so so what we just done we just uh, deploy a provision a ferret DB in our kind Kubernetes cluster, and this ferret DB actually 
uh, if you if we want to show the YAML of this ferret DB. Okay, so if here we can see that the spec dot backend dot postgres dot service is actually our external PG and URI also uh, here the URI also generated through our cube DB controller and uh, there is so many option in fair DB like health checker, uh, pod template and this data section replica still mode storage transmission policy and so other. Okay, so that's all. So what's our future plan? So in future. Mm, we already know that FiridDB is uh, is a database that is currently is uh, continuously implementing. So a new new feature is coming. So e as uh, so with that, uh, uh, we have also a future plan for FiridDB. Like we want to bring backup and restore in Kubernetes cluster level with FiridDB. Also, we uh, already we gives monitoring support with FiridDB, and in future we are going to uh, bring exciting Grafana dashboard for FiridDB. Also, we we already know that FireDB is currently uh, in an implementing implementing process of sharding and replica set on, or I mean clustering mode collection, uh, clustering mode features. So in future, we are going to give uh, so many multiple ops requests for FireDB. Okay, so that's all. Um, if you guys have any question, you can ask. Okay, thank you everyone.